Hello, my name is Kurt Jensen, and I'm a certified technical expert at Hank Greff Chevrolet in Davidson. The video you're about to view should give you a thorough explanation of how things work. I personally viewed it myself and found it to be very informative. Enjoy! The Bolt's unique regenerative braking system converts energy lost during normal driving conditions into reusable energy. So what are regenerative brakes and how are they used in the Volt? In conventional friction braking, when the brakes are applied, the kinetic energy that propels the vehicle forward is lost in the form of heat. Regenerative braking converts that wasted kinetic energy into electrical energy, captures it, and stores it back into the battery. The Volt uses regenerative braking in two ways, through the brake pedal and through regen on demand. Using the brake pedal typically slows or stops a vehicle. The Volt features blended brakes, meaning when you apply the brakes, the regeneration process is engaged first. As the Volt decelerates and speeds become too slow for regeneration, the hydraulic disc brakes are seamlessly engaged. The vehicle may use regenerative braking, conventional hydraulic braking, or a combination to ensure effective braking. The Volt will maintain a consistent brake pedal feel as sensors in the system determine how much regeneration the vehicle needs. The second way to slow the vehicle is by using the Regen On Demand paddle located on the left side of the steering wheel. While driving down the road, press and hold the paddle while your foot is off the throttle. This decelerates Volt, similar to shifting into a lower gear on a conventional car. But the energy that was moving the car is now converted into storable electricity. As long as a full stop is not needed, the brake pedal might not need to be used. In order to fully stop the car, you must release the paddle and engage the brake pedal. If you need to brake quickly for any reason, be sure to use the brake pedal. As you begin to use the paddle, keep in mind that Regen On Demand works in drive and in low, and the accelerator pedal must be fully released for Regen On Demand to work. Note that when the paddle is engaged, the cruise control will turn off, and the brake lights will illuminate under most conditions. Finally. The brake pedal must be applied at low speed, as Regen On Demand will not bring the vehicle to a full stop. Using the throttle will disable the Regen On Demand feature. I hope that video presentation is you confident on how to operate your personal car technology. If you have any questions, please contact me by phone, email, or at my website, www.graphguru.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.